Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here immediately after the fucking game. And that's how you know it's going to be a video. I'm cussing like five minutes, five seconds to the video. And I'll get the stats right now when this video's over, but I'm so hated right now with this team. This fucking Dodgers team is just so inconsistent, dude. Like, I'm not joking. How the fuck do we open winning the Yankees series? We take two out of three, we're feeling good. Oh, yeah, some momentum. And then we drop two out of three to the Rangers. Unacceptable. This is not the same Rangers team from last year. Well, they kind of are. They have some injuries. But they're under 500 right now. Why do we struggle against these mediocre teams? But we, we got to beat these good teams. Oh, we got to beat the Yankees. Like, well, this team frustrates me. They never come up clutch. I'm looking at you, Mookie Betts. I'm looking at you, Shahani Yatani. Look at you, Freddie Freeman. Look at you, Will Smith. You guys frustrate me. Never come up clutch. And it's going to be a preview of October. I'm calling it right now. Look back in this video here when it's uploaded. And it's now June 14, 2024. 12.47 when I'm recording this. This is going to happen in the same exact way in the postseason. Freeman, or, well, Betts is not going to come up clutch. I I'm giving him one more chance. If he does not come up clutch this postseason, I'm, I'm done with Mookie Betts. I'm done. He'd be like, oh yeah, he's a superstar. He's Mookie, Mookie fucking Betts. So what? If he doesn't come up for the clutch rest of the postseason, why pay him all that money? And I'm looking at you sh to Shahani Atani. I'm not giving you free pass either, Shahani Atani. You didn't come up clutch either. You looked at the first pitch fastball or what, what first pitch. It's the first pitch in the middle. I don't remember what it was. Mookie Betts, you did too as well. Stop taking these first pitches down the middle. Fucking swing. I mean, it's the ninth inning. You have to get two runs. Or, or it was the eighth inning. Like, you have to get two runs to tie this thing. <sighs> don't just frustrate me, man. Like, they never come up clutch. And they lose two out of three to a beaten up Texas Rangers team. It's unacceptable. But you gotta give credit to the Rangers though. White Langford drives in two with two bloop singles. Uh, pitching really carried the day for him. Mitchell Lorenzo went one inning and set one run in seven innings. David Robertson and Kirby Yates uh, pitch around trouble in the eighth and ninth with three strikeouts apiece and got the win. Just a fitting end to this month. Fitting end. Dodgers, they're a 500 team since May 14. I've got some news for you. This team, as present, presently constituted, is going nowhere. They're going to end up exactly where, where they are in the postseason last few years. Chokers, chokers, chokers. And yeah, the Rangers are good for them. They start a little streak. But why, why are we starting Michael Grove, man, in a fucking bullpen game? Like, the guy's not good as a starter. Keep him in the fucking bullpen. Put out Ryan Yarbrough or something. Like, oh my god. Yes, even Hollywood could have scripted this fucking series. It's just frustrating. Like, already in October freaking form. I didn't think they'd miss Max Muncy this fucking much. And. And Kevin Biggio is not a fucking savior. Oh yeah, we got Kevin Biggio. Woohoo! Should just stoke on Miguel Vargas. It's not like Biggio's bad. Like he's he's getting on base. He had a walk, a hit by pitch, and a single in these first two games. But he's not gonna be a savior for this team in the postseason. I mean, it's not like he's gonna be a fucking savior. Like this team is frustrating. We're gonna get fucking killed in the postseason. This team needs a lot. I'm sorry. It needs a lot. Because with the top three doing nothing close in clutch situations, you're missing a lot. A lot more than just a Luis Roberts trade. Like, it's frustrating to watch. Like, we we need something else. And the Dodgers, I want to point out, by the way, are 20 and 9 when Rojas starts. They're 24 and 22 when Lux starts. The lineups, the lineups are a bit different when each player starts. But Lux isn't a game changer. And Mookie playing second base instead of shortstop is better for the team as a whole and his freaking body, man. Like, I'd really like to see Otani and Freeman switching the fucking lineup. I don't know if it would actually change anything, but Otani struggled a lot in high leverage at bats this season. I feel like Freeman will be better at the two spot, Otani at three. 
all they had to do when they had first and third, no outs in the eighth, top three lineup, put a fucking ball in play, and they couldn't even do that. Our hitting approach is terrible. Early in the season, didn't Mookie go like 60, 70 at bats without striking out? Then of course he strike out, strikes out, even when a double play would have scored a run, at least. I understand we can't win them all, but I feel like most games we lost this season were just because the office doesn't produce shit when it matters most. Absolutely pathetic. From the top of the order. Bats, Otani and Freeman with those, some of the worst at-bats I've seen from them this season. Like, it was a joke when I was watching. Thinking at the freaking sign of a barn. Like, the 8-9 hitters. Oh, get on the 1-2-3. Nope, strike out, strike out, strike out. Strike out. At least Freeman actually put up a solid at-bat and tried. These fuckers didn't even try. And I'm sorry to rant. And, but I'm, I'm just hated with this team. Like, how do we go from beating the Yankees to losing this series to the Rangers? Oh, great, now we have to play a good Royals team tomorrow. Or today, technically. Or tonight. It's just, this, it's not going to get better with this team, man. It's just frustrating. Frustration, frustration, frustration. It's every, and we put up, what, 15 runs in the first game? What did we score last night? We scored one run. Tonight, we scored one run. We had two total runs in these last two games. The first one, we scored 15. The last two games combined, four or two fucking runs. This team pisses me off. But I'll be right back here tomorrow recapping the Royals, first game of the Royals series. But it's frustrating watching the same sometimes. I don't know how I do it some nights when their offense is this bad. But, yeah, um, hey, gotta give credit to the Rangers. I mean, they outplayed us. But, over the next 19 innings, they've scored three runs. Oh, yeah, they scored two last night. I'm an idiot. They scored two. Woo, three runs these last two games. Like a 39-year-old pitcher striking out Mookie, Shohei, and Freddie back-to-back nights. It's frustrating. I, I don't know. I don't know what you do. Just a fitting end to the end of the month. Or just a fitting end. I've, the Dodgers just since May are a 500 team. This lineup is a momentum lineup. They need a big enough lead early in the game so when the other team punches back, the Dodgers are still leading. Uh, but yeah, bullpen game. I don't know why we started Michael Grove. He sucks as a fucking starter. Just keep him in the bullpen for late innings. And then we waste our high, basically waste our three high leverage relief guys trying and Bassey and Phelps in the in three innings because we had to put them out there. Uncle Grove is up three hits, two runs in the first inning. So yeah, Brown Yarbrough two hits, one run, four walks, three strikeouts, and Johan goes two scoreless break. Trying one scores with two strikeouts, Bassey one scoreless to one strikeout, Phelps one scoreless with a walk and a strikeout. For the lineup, Bates one for four, Otani oh four, Freeman one for three. Hernandez 0 for 3 and Walt Polly is 2 for 4 in RBI. Hayward 0 for 4, Lux 0 for 3, Smith 0 for 1, uh, Pinch hit 0 for 1, Biggio 0 for 1 and walking hit by pitch, and Austin Barnes 1 for 3 for the Rangers. Uh, 7 scoreless for Michael Lorenzen. Struck out 2, only give it 4 hits, 1 run. David Robertson 1 inning, 1 hit, struck out 3. Kirby Yates 1 inning, walked 1 but struck out 3. Uh, 2 RBIs from Lane for 2 for 4, 2 for 2 RBIs, and. Um, uh, Nathaniel Lyle got an R RBI ground out, 0 for 3 and an RBI. Uh, Garcia, 2 for th 2 for 3 and a walk. Smith, 2 for 3. Simeon, 1 for 3 and a walk. Heim, Jonah Heim, 0 for 3 and a walk. Trans J Jankowski, 0 for 2, 2 walks. It's just frustrating. Struck out 6 times in the last 2 fucking innings. Dodgers dropped to 42 and 28. Rangers spread to 33 and 35. I just went through the lineups quick because... I don't want to make this video too much longer, but yeah. Dodgers lose this series. They lose 2 out of 3. Just gotta move on to the Royals uh, series tomorrow. So yeah. Um, yeah. That's really all I got. So, peace.